to the TSI AFL studios, Nat Edwards and Robert Walls with you. Well, they share the same colours and they share the same first name. And Robert, I am of course talking about Dane Beans and Dane Swan, the two Collingwood midfielders. How do they compare? Well, it's an interesting question, Nat, uh, because if you had have asked me that question 12 months ago, I, I would have said, well, one's very much an inside grunt player who wins a heap of contested ball. Dane Swan, yep. and the other is more of an outside player who can finish off the good work of others, Dane Beams. But we've had a situation where Luke Ball went down with injury at the start of the season. His door closed and the door opened for Dane Beams to become a midfielder for the Magpies. And boy, has he grabbed it with both hands. He has had a sensational season, just 22 years of age, six years younger than Dane Swan. I think Magpie fans will be saying, well, when Swanee's days are over, well, we know who's going to replace him as the number one midfielder for Collingwood. If we have a look at the facts and figures this year, Dane Beams measures up very closely to Dane Swan. If we have a look at the average kicks, Beams 16.3, Swan 20.9. Handballs, Beams 14.6, Swan 14.9. So... Not too much difference there. The interesting thing is we have a look at the disposal efficiency and you've got Dane Beams coming out in front of Swan. And the efficiency of Beams with his disposal is 73.3, Swan 67.7. The clearances, we've got Beams at 5.7 a game and Swan averaging 6.6. .6. If we go to the inside 50s, Dane Beams 4.7 times a game. Dane Swan 4.5, so Beams a little bit in front there. Contested possessions, Dane Beams is 11.3, Swanee is 13.7. And as far as goals go, Beams has kicked 23 goals for the Magpies and Swan has kicked 21. So it makes for interesting reading and Dane Beams to me, Nat, has emerged as more of an inside player than I ever thought he could be and I'm sure that Nathan Buckley is absolutely delighted by that. Thank you very much for joining us on TSI AFL. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and we look forward to seeing you again soon.